as usual in international law, it sets a moral precedent. So, so there is, um, in, in Geneva here, there's a convention on conventional weapons that is negotiated for the last, I don't know how many years, but one of these endless negotiations. And at one point, the US is putting in a resolution and, and um, trying to actually um, ex have, have, a, have a really weak standard on, on cluster bombs. And suddenly China and Russia and everyone was on board because they're all not part of the ban and they were thinking, oh wow, that's great because if we now sign this convention, then we can say, yeah, we actually do something against cluster bombs and we don't use them. But the standards were so weak, all the, all the bombs that they were producing, they were excluded and they, there was all, lots of technical details. So basically it was one of these um, obscure conferences in the UN here in Geneva, like no public scrutiny, no media, no one. So basically what we did was we raised the alarm together with our partners of the cluster bomb um, coalition and we started the campaign and the TOC here, the theory of change was that three years ago we helped campaign to achieve that, that cluster bomb ban in, in Dublin. So, um, so what, what happened basically is we had 700 or I don't really know, 700, no, 580,000 signatures. And um, we had this banner just in front of the, of the UN, inside the UN, just in front of the conference bill, um, uh, the, 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 just, just right where the, where the meeting was. And um, we had it directly delivered to the chair of, by a cluster bomb victim. And then suddenly countries started to use our numbers because we gave them breakdown. So we were saying, you know, 15,000 people from Costa Rica support this. And suddenly Costa Rican dele delegation was standing up and they were saying, but you know, we have 15,000 people and they are against, so we need to speak out. And, um, and that was actually quite important because in the beginning no one wanted to speak out because of a fear that the US would, would, um, would just, you know, usually what the US does is they stop, stop funding or they have a lot of pressure points. So I think this is a really good example why it works because it's not in the media, and usually our campaigns they work well if they're in the media, but this one, it, was, it, it worked really well and it was not in the media. And we could really bring the, the public, public scrutiny to this meeting and at the end we, we won. And the US proposal was, was, um, was um, beaten back. So. <laughs>